So it's the first week of March, one of my most favorite times of the year. So I'm heading to my local nursery to pick up some transplants and give you guys a March planning guide on what vegetables you could be planting right now in March for Zone 9A. So let's garden on. Every March, tomatoes are a must have in my spring garden. And if you live in Zone 9 like I do, you should be adding tomatoes to your garden in March. See, tomatoes don't like temperatures over 85 degrees, so they need to be planted by transplant in early March so they can reach maturity before the weather gets too hot. My top variety recommendations are Celebrities and Romas. Celebrities and Romas have high yields and many disease resistances. If you're looking to grow tomatoes in containers, go check out my growing guide on growing tomatoes in containers. So I love growing hot chili peppers. So peppers are always a must have in my garden. I grow everything from sweet peppers to the hottest chili peppers I can get my hands on. This year I'm growing 10 different pepper varieties, but to name a few, I'm growing the giant Marconi sweet pepper, which is actually recommended by the Texas A&M Agriculture System, the Carolina Reaper, Apocalypse Chili, Cayenne, and we can't forget your standard jalapeno. Peppers are technically perennials, so if you overwinter them the right way, you'll have them the next following season. The next set of vegetables that should be on your radar for Zone 9 in March are pumpkins, winter squash, and summer squash. So I'm growing some pie pumpkins onto this trellis right here. I've grown some pretty big Tahiti melon squash, which is a butternut type squash. They were about 15 to 20 pounds. So this thing's a lot sturdier than it looks. I'm also growing some zucchini this year on the other side of the bed, more of the front side. And the back side, I'm gonna let the pumpkins trellis up. So they're not really big pumpkins. They're pie pumpkins, so they're pretty small. So I should be able to train the pumpkins to come up on this trellis and grow the zucchini in the front of the bed. A spring garden is not complete without eggplants. My best piece of advice that I can give you about growing eggplants is to make sure they are with your peppers and tomatoes. That way, next season you can rotate them together as a family. One of the best ways to prevent pests and diseases is to rotate your crops but you must rotate the entire family and not just a single plant. So in other words, you don't wanna have your peppers in one bed, your tomatoes in a second, and your eggplants in a third. Try to have them as close as possible so you can rotate them together the following season and save that bed next season for a separate family. All right guys, so that was my what to plant in March video for zone nine. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more gardening videos. And don't forget to check out that video about growing tomatoes in containers. Thanks for watching.